go. And I am live on YouTube. All right. Hello, friends. This is MZ4250, and I am working on some uh, Patreon requests. So today, uh, the first request uh, comes from one of my patrons asking for a Quetzalcoatlus, or Quetzal, Quetzalcoatlus, I don't know, Quetzalcoatlus uh, that is on the ground. So as you can see, the Quetzalcoatlus, the largest flying uh, reptile ever, uh, is a rather impressive looking creature, but it uh, needs a little bit of tweaking before it's ready for uh, some good old fashioned uh, rigging. So this was the original model from Volo's guide that I actually started working on earlier today. I had to extend its neck a little bit, among other things. But uh, so far it's a good starting point, you know? But this is also obviously a very old model. So I'm gonna go ahead and start updating this thing. Also, these creatures most likely were covered in feathers, so I'm gonna have to give it a nice uh, fuzzy, fuzzy look. So, you know, it'll be nice. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, get started on the silliness, shall we? All right, so. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and double check and make sure that his form is good. Looks like his, I could use a little work on the wings real quickly. So a little bit of sculpt in first, nothing crazy. Hope everybody's good. July is uh, starting out like a pretty fun month. I already got some fun requests uh, lined up, so I'm gonna look forward to uh, working on that. But, uh, but yeah, June was great though. I definitely got a lot of stuff done. I'm pretty happy with uh, what I made in June. I posted my gallery on my Patreon just now of uh, all the stuff I made in June. And uh, so far, so good. Anyway, <clears throat> but yeah. Let's go ahead and work on this Quetzal Callus. I don't really know how to pronounce it, and I was such a dinosaur nerd when I was a little kid. <laughs> anyway, whatever, I'll figure it out. But uh, this looks like this is pretty good already. I'm just gonna clean up some of this, and then we'll get to the uh, sculpting phase. So, but yeah, new month, so we'll see how this goes. Quetzalcoatlus. Quetzalcoatlus. Alright. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Quetzalcoatlus. Cool. I'll try to remember that. I don't think even when I was a little kid and I was obsessed with dinosaurs would I have gotten that right. Oh well. <laughs> Yeah, when I was a little kid, I used to love this stuff. I mean, technically, I still do. I am a, you know, human being. If you don't like dinosaurs, it's... What's wrong with you? Why are you even here? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I think this is pretty good. I think I can move on to the more detailed phase. Throw some feathers on this guy, and then we'll rig him up. Okay, so let's go ahead and save, and then save as Quetzalcoatlus uh, sculpted. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and begin uh, some sculpting, shall we? So. Let's go ahead and increase his geometry to a 2. We're going to apply that. And now we're going to go ahead and put some feathers on this guy. And some other details, of course. Alrighty. So let's start working on some of the details first. So we'll put some facial details on this guy. Turn on Dintobu. 
bring it down to a six and let's play I'll put on smooth serrating so like it looks pretty all right first let's go ahead and get his nostril in there so we're going to use our subtract line split tool to get this party started and again it doesn't need to be perfect it's not like the Quetzalcoatl Appreciation Society is going to send me an angry message if I don't do this right. So, I'll be fine. So yeah, June was a fun month. I got a lot of stuff done, it was nice. <coughs> got a lot of stuff done in June. And I got so much more to go this month too. So, it'll be fun. <laughs> I think my favorite model from June that I made is uh, between two actually. It's either the uh, Jabberwock from The Wild Beyond the Witchlight or uh, Morning Kaiden on a Kirin. <laughs> they both were pretty fun. Now that we got that done, uh, those are some major details on the face before we get into feathers. Let's go ahead and fix up his body a little bit now. Just refine some of these details. you guys don't mind, but uh, I do have a 3D printer running in the background. I'm actually not printing a miniature for once. <laughs> I'm uh, printing a part that will attach to my uh, window in my office. I need to get better uh, ventilation in here. So 3D printing a uh, piece for some better ventilation. A little uh, ventilation hole that'll be attached to a tube to my resin printer cabinet. So it'll look cool. Also let me know if the music is too loud or my voice is not loud enough, just let me know and I'll make adjustments, obviously. Okay, so far so good. <coughs> Let's go ahead and add some extra geometry. It'll be, it'll sure be cool. Wow. <laughs> Thanks there, uh, Coco McLeod. <laughs> I hope so too. All right. 
So the original wing texture I think already looks fine, but I'm going to add this extra geometry for the sake of rigging purposes. Because uh, this creature is going to have some folded wings and you need a lot of geometry if you want folded wings to look right. That I learned from various dragon models. I can't hear the music too much, but your voice is okay. Okay. Well, I guess I could just raise it a little bit. There you go. How's that? <laughs> Let me know if that works for you or not. Only problem is that if it works for you, it might not work for somebody else, you know? Somebody would be like, ah, the music's too loud. And like, ah, can't win. <laughs> Quetzal model, yes. I'm working on a uh, Quetzal Atlas, and uh, what I'm doing is today I am updated, updating the original that I'm uh, put together back in Volo's guide. But then I'm going to uh, rig it up and then make it standing. Still the same. Sorry. Oh man. Sorry. Oh, I don't know what to tell you. Because if I make it too loud, then people are going to be upset, so there's no winning here. But yeah, the uh, Quetzalcoatlus, the largest flying reptile. Um, what I got to do is I need to add more geometry to the wings before I, uh, you know, go ahead and... Uh, start rigging this guy up because you need geometry if you want the folded wings to look right hey thanks there well your voice is great too All right, that's the bottom. Let me do the same right here. That's going to be super cool. Yeah, I think so. So I'm actually playing, uh, I'm the DM for a Tomb of Annihilation game. So I actually do have some investment in having some updated Quetzal caught less uh, mini so we'll see how it turns out you know I don't actually know how involved the Quetzal Quattle um, mini is going to be in that campaign but you know we'll see we shall see That geometry looks great on resin. Uh, yeah. Usually, yeah. Would you maybe consider modeling the staring cats of Ulderder and from Tasha's Cauldron? I don't think anyone has yet. I don't even know what that is. Um, but, you know, if a patron requests that, sure, I'll do it. But uh, I don't take requests. Um, unless it's from my Patreon's request board, sorry. I used to do commission work a long time ago. And then I found out that commission work sucks. <laughs> it's people just so picky and rude. And after a while, it's just like, you know... I don't need this. <laughs> I got enough patrons. I'm fine. I don't need to do this too. So, stopped it. It was in 2020. So rude.
But yeah, this would be a pretty chill model when it's done. Mm -hmm. They are sapient, hyperdimensional cats with uneven number of eyes that appear and tell you ways you have died in alternate universes and do not leave until you complete a long rest. <laughs> That's very silly. Although if it really is just a cat with multiple eyeballs and I could just I could just print a cat mini and just, you know, paint the eyeballs on. I mean, it doesn't need to be anything crazy, right? I mean, frankly, I would just take my cat mini and I would just, you know. <laughs> Covered in sculpted eyeballs. What's that? Also, it's a cat, so it's going to be a tiny creature. So who the hell is going to see all the little details on that thing anyway on your board? So, yeah. But, you know, if you decide to become a patron, unless you are already, you're welcome to uh, put that on the request board and I'll make it. It looks like a dragon on Google's pictures. It looks like a dragon. But you said it was hyperdimensional cats. Why would it look like a dragon if you said it was a cat? Now I'm confused and scared. <coughs> I'm sorry, but you said it was a cat, so... That's it. It's canon now. It's a giant multi-eyeball cat. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, that's enough geometry on the wings. Now we're gonna go ahead and put some fur on this guy. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get furry. <laughs> now because we're not dealing with particle effects, since this is not animation, this is, uh, you know, 3D printable creature. Uh, designing fur does not always require a lot of complex work, you know. Simply sculpting on lines onto this creature's face and then, you know, over time just overlapping them again and again and again and again does give off a similar effect uh, to fur. And remember, this is for 3D printing, so you gotta keep things solid looking and stuff. Because it's impossible to print individual hair follicles and such. It'd be a little ridiculous. Yeah. I think he looks fine just the way you are. Just the way it is. Stop body shaming the Quetzalcoatl. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Thank you there, newbie Microblint. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. 
It is. This is one of the most relaxing forms of artwork ever. Sit back, relax, draw away on the model itself. It's nice. It's not too stressful. Just sit back, relax, enjoy yourself your coffee. And, you know, just make some art. Make what makes you happy. As you can see, uh, up close it doesn't look like anything, but don't forget that this is supposed to be 3D printed. And this is how big it's going to look like on a board. As you can see, it works just fine. I was always amused by people who focus so much on details without understanding what this is all for, you know? <laughs> Like, you know, this is supposed to be about an inch high, right? <laughs> ah, good times. Nice. Well, I hope that uh, this month you're able to participate too. Hey Miguel, I just got a resin printer and I've been printing your models uh, crazy lately. I really appreciate the work you put into these. Oh well, thanks, I appreciate you telling me that you appreciate my work. <laughs> well, I appreciate you. Oh, so uh, if y'all wanna have a bit of a chuckle. Um, my Patreon final number for June was uh, 69, 69. <laughs> so yes, I'm 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 a teenager still at heart. So. If y'all want to laugh as well, please go for it. I give you full permission to be ignorant little teenagers today. Me. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, 69, 69. <laughs> All right, I'll stop. Sorry. <laughs> Time to get professional, I guess. Also, let me make my phone go quiet because it's making a lot of noise. That's kind of rude. Let's see what's going on on YouTube right now. Oh, hey. I got a. Uh, I actually got some viewers on YouTube. Hello, what do we got here? Sean Henry, Friday baby, long time admirer of your work. Hey, well thanks, dear Sean. I appreciate it.
ねえ<笑> It's funny It's called 6969 No <笑> no We're not gonna be playing that music Although it is Friday I feel like I should play like the You know It's Friday Saturday Sunday what song Hmm So given it's Friday, um, you know, still technically the weekend, I、uh, personally do like to, you know, enjoy my weekends as much as I can. So I hope you guys are going to have a good one too, obviously. Ah, boo! I just checked the YouTube stream and it went back down to zero again. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. If I was actually a professional streamer, I'm pretty sure my life would be kind of miserable right now. Because streaming is work of its own. And with me and all the 3D stuff that I do, if I were to throw trying to be a professional streamer on top of that, oof. Man, life would suck. <laughs> life would suck. So、no, thank you. I'm just gonna keep doing what I do, baby. And I appreciate you guys being here to enjoy it. Enjoy my chill, relaxed、uh, persona. Mm hmm. I've been trying to work on learning Blender a bit. A buddy of mine wants a goblin wizard who has regular human size robes and that. <laughs> nice. I do like working on robes. On the bottom of his neck, but as you can see, he's looking already rather furry looking, right? So he's getting there. So, given this is not exactly the most、uh, difficult portion of this project, if you guys got any questions for me about,、uh, I don't know, 3D modeling, 3D printing, DD, Godzilla, Star Wars, Star Trek, I think those are the topics I'm the biggest expert on. <laughs> But、uh, yeah, if you guys got any questions on any of those topics, go ahead and send them my way and I'll do my best to answer them.
Law, order, and legally elected galactic governments or rebellious scum. Um, I would have to say uh, I support the galactic alliance of uh, free, or sorry, the, I support the galactic federation of free alliances. So I'd have to say that. Have you watched any of the Star Trek Strange New Worlds? If so, is it any good? Yes, actually. Star Trek Strange New Worlds is hilarious and really, really good. It's, uh, yeah, it's definitely a nice breath of fresh air after Discovery. Because Discovery was great, but oh my god, every single episode of Discovery is like, the stakes are so damn high. Can we just relax, please? <laughs> Every episode of Discovery is, has you like either in tears or cheering at the top of your lungs, but it's always so damn heavy. And it's like, I just want a holodeck episode. Can we just get one? Just one holodeck episode, please. <laughs> These people have gone through so much. Can y'all just like stop torturing them? <laughs> So yeah, Strange New World is great. I highly recommend it. It's funny as hell. It's also really good. The first episode's like really, really, really heavy, but like it's still funny. There are some episodes that are just straight up comedy, just straight up really funny. And uh, so yeah, highly recommend it. Highly recommend Strange New World for sure. <coughs> Something about my microphone is a bit off today. It's because it was farther away from my mouth probably. Anyway, question about the Patreon, actually. <clears throat> By commercially available, do you mean we can print and sell them? Would you still need to attribute you, correct? Uh, yeah, actually. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what to tell you then. Uh, well, when it comes to my audio, let's see. The mix is gaming set and yeah so no it's the microphone on my mouth sorry i don't have to tell you anyway uh vicarian asks about my patreon commercial stuff and yes yeah you're welcome to sell whatever is listed as commercially friendly inside my drive so go right ahead and do that yes yeah i would appreciate it if you would give me credit for my work it's not required but it would be nice if you pretended that you made it, that'd be kind of messed up, so don't do that. <laughs> I don't think you would do that, just kidding. Okay. Sorry I joined late, I am ashamed of myself. What are you modeling? Looks like a Quetzalcoatl. It is, it is a Quetzalcoatlus. Is 3D printing for a beginner to 3D printing, what type of printer would you recommend? Well, if you have the budget for it, I highly recommend anything from Prusa, um, particularly the Prusa MK3, if you're looking for, uh, you know, FDM printing. For resin printing, the uh, Prusa SL1S is an excellent machine. So if you got the budget, go for that. If you don't have the budget, um, Anycubic, they make really good uh, resin machines. For FDM machines, they kind of all suck. Every one of them. Every single one of them sucks when you're on a budget. You get the Ender 3 for like 100 bucks, great. And then you have to spend half of your time fixing it, tweaking it, and working on it to the point that you wonder, are you ever going to actually print something or are you just going to work on it? So they all suck. And, uh, they require a lot of work. But you will definitely learn how to 3D print when you get one of the lower end uh, machines like the Ender 3. 
and eventually you will master it and start printing things. It'll be nice. But the first couple of weeks are going to blow. So there you go. So that's it. If you got the budget, go for Prusa. If you don't, and a cubic photon. Great machine. But yeah. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there. Satine here. No problem. Hope I didn't scare you. Just gonna tell you the truth. If you like to tinker, if you like to learn how a machine works, and you know, the lower end uh, FDM printers are definitely gonna be useful for sure. But uh, you will not be printing a single thing for a long time. A long time. Yes. I know people who own an Ender 3 who still haven't printed a damn thing. They just gave up. But I also know plenty of people who were able to figure it out and they got themselves a mighty fine machine that makes minis for them. So yeah, it's really how much you're willing to put into it, you know? If you like tinkering and you like learning, then definitely go for those machines. But if you just want it to work, you may want to save up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. I prefer Prusa because I kind of like the idea of, you know, when you buy something, it works. Instead of when you buy something, you got to, like, you know, do the work that maybe people in the factory should have done before handing it off to people. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm just being mean. Nah, I'm just teasing now. Do, 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 do. Just joined, and we're only talking, and we only talking FDM or Resin 2. Um, just joined, are we talking only FDM or Resin 2? Uh, I think he's asking you, uh, not me, that question. Hello there, Satinther again. Uh, I'm currently using a uh, just a mouse, or mouse and keyboard. I do have a tablet, um, which I fool around with sometimes, but my preference is still mouse and keyboard. Yes, because I got skills, baby. Because I got skills. Thank you. I did play Command and Conquer when I was younger, after all. <laughs> Yeah, no, resin printing is definitely the way to go, for sure, if you want really good looking prints, but there is a bit of a trade-off. Most resin printers are not very big, so you won't be able to print anything really, really impressive, you know? You're only going to be printing really small things, which is fine, usually, right? Usually that's all you need. But if you want something really big, you know, like terrain pieces and, you know... Um, dragons, giants, things like that. You're going to have to get an FDM machine eventually. So, yeah. 
So yeah, resin's great, but in the end, it's going to come back to FDM one way or another. <laughs> yep, I remember, uh, I remember that back in the day. Command and Conquer was fun. The first one was very campy, and then the red alert got really, really campy. The other games got more serious over time, but the red alert games never got serious. The third one was hilarious. Oh my god, I remember that one game where they had Tim Curry in it. That guy could not keep a straight face. It was just so dumb. <laughs> How are we looking so far? From a distance? He's looking pretty good. Yeah. I'll go to the one place where capitalism has not touched spies! <laughs> uh, those are great. I don't think make games like that anymore. Oh well. How would I design armor for a creature with a uh, patagy uh, skin membrane between arms and legs? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I guess I would model first just a regular base size creature. But for skin between the arms and legs, I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to look at it first. I couldn't tell you without some kind of a reference. But if there's skin between the arms and the legs, kind of like a bat, then I would just, you know, model the most basic form and then probably use a crease tool or some lines and just, you know, make the the membrane stuff come out. Yeah. Like a flying squirrel, yeah. yeah. This is totally a random question and nobody has to answer it. I can Google it later, but... Does the fur, does the the wing membranes of a flying squirrel, does that have fur? Again, totally random question. Don't, you don't have to Google it. If you know the answer, just say it. If you don't, then just don't worry about it. <coughs> ah, delicious coffee. It is delicious. Ew. Gross. Cool, well thanks for looking that up. Appreciate it.
Now the trick, once I'm done with this portion, is going to be just how I'm going to rig this guy up so that way he looks like, you know, he's standing. That's going to be fun. <laughs> I ask for some people want to know too. <laughs> it's funny. <clears throat> I guess I uh, probably should be doing a self-promotion, right? It's about that time. All right, fine. Let me go ahead in here. Hi, everybody. This is MZ4250. If you'd like to support me as a patron and support me as an artist, uh, the link to my Patreon is right there in the chat. I offer my patrons a variety of access uh, to a variety of fun features, such as, um, well, conveniently having all 4,000 of my pre-supported files in one place. I also offer them access to a fun Discord. There's a request board where they can put down pretty much whatever they want, and I'll eventually get to it, like this guy. And, you know, you're supporting an artist as he makes free stuff for the world to enjoy. So, if you want to consider, you know, supporting me as an artist, the link to the Patreon is right there. And there you go. That is my self-promotion. I think I've spammed uh, my link enough. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Not too shabby, not too shabby. It's getting there, it's getting there. <laughs> It was night, just like any other night. The rain was coming down, beating down on poor souls in this lost city. I was there in my office, just enjoying a fifth of whiskey and trying not to think about life. And that's when she walked in. A dame as beautiful as a sunset with legs as long as 
Florida. She sat down and said, Hey there, mister. I turned around and I said, I'm closed. What the hell do you want? She went ahead and smiled at me and then she said, I hear you redeem parking in the main lot. And I said, I do. So I redeemed her parking and she left. The end. <laughs> Sorry, it just seems like the very noir music right now. <laughs> Thanks. You know, I try. Nice. Well, thanks for spending your 8k chat points. How'd you do it? How did you possibly get to 8k? Whoa.
<laughs> ah, delicious coffee. So what creature is this one? It looks like a pterodactyl. It's not. It is a Quetzalcoatlus, the largest flying reptile in existence. The wingspan of over, I believe, 50 feet is a real monstrosity. It also stands roughly about the same height as a giraffe. So not only was it terrifying, but it was also, well, very tall. I think the wingspan was 50 feet, but I could be wrong. I think it might have been 30 actually, but I don't remember. I love dinosaurs and stuff, but I am not that good. <laughs> and technically I know this thing is not a dinosaur. It's a pterosaur, which is its own thing, but basically a flying reptile. I believe that the requirements for something to be considered a dinosaur is uh, it has to be land-based. That's kind of it. I think there's a certain bone structure that's also a requirement too, but that's one of the major reasons why plesiosaurs and pterosaurs are not considered dinosaurs. And then I guess that means that the feathered dinosaurs that showed up later that actually could fly would not be considered dinosaurs either. They would be considered birds. <laughs>
Okay, that is one fuzzy dude. Let me just go ahead and get the uh, portions under his arms. But for that hair, I'm actually gonna go a little bit lighter. And as I get closer to the fingertips, I'll get it lighter and lighter and lighter and such. Vicky says 52 get was the original estimate when it was found in 1975. Most recent estimate says minimum is 36 feet, but it doesn't give an upper range. 52 feet. Those were some big fish. <clears throat> <laughs> Or do I? Ooh. Technically, aren't we all fish? Well, well. All right. Looking good. Looking good, buddy. Next, let's add some details to his fingers and his toes. Feather-wise, though, or fur-wise, I guess. Looks pretty good, though. All right. Just gonna expand these a little more.
There we go. Nice. All right, that looks pretty good. Cool. All right, now let me do the same thing with the uh, toes. We should be pretty good. <coughs> Mm, -hmm. mm I forgot to do his mouth. I assume he has a tongue, right? I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah, he's got a tongue. I mean, nobody really knows, but I'm assuming he's got a tongue. Okay.
Good enough. All right, let's work on his toes. And then we'll go from there. Alrighty. I think it's safe to say that this creature has now been properly updated. Alrighty. So now that we got that part done, let's go ahead and rig this guy up because we're not done. We're going to make this guy standing. So that'll be fun. But this means I need to obviously give this guy a proper skeleton, rig him up. All that good stuff. That'll be fun. So let's go ahead and do that. <sighs> Delicious coffee. Nom, 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 nom. Ooh, I got a viewer on YouTube. Hello there, viewer. Thank you for joining. Here we go. Happy Friday. Good to see you streaming. Well, thank you very much there, mister. Alrighty. Mr. Ford F-350, that's a man's truck right there, built tough, girl. <laughs> I'm actually heavily considering getting a Ford Lightning when they're actually, uh, you know, available. <laughs> I don't know, like three years or something like that. <laughs> they just look really cool, you know? I'm glad that you were able to do that, Siberian Phoenix. Alrighty, so I think this guy is good to go. So next up is raking him up, right? So let's go ahead and save real quickly. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> Save. All right, let's get a uh, X. First things first, I'm going to save and then let me open up, uh, get some lighting in here. 
So large lighting experiment, copied file, open recent, Quetzalcoatls, Quetzalcoatl sculpted, paste, and then now that we got that done. Yeah, yeah, rigging can be a pain. That is true. But once you get it down, it's pretty fun. Anyway, so let's go ahead and first see how big this guy is now. SCL, quite some quiet less. It's probably gonna be huge now. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, 126 megs, huh? All right, I've seen worse. So we're gonna go ahead and save this guy as um, quite squatless rigged. And then we're gonna decimate this guy. Add a decimate function, 0 0.5 should be enough. We want it to be a smaller file size. It was 126, right? So, <clears throat> probably bring it down a little further. So, never mind, 0 0.4. That should be enough. Uh, what decimate does is it cuts down the overall size of the file to the percentile that you type in here. So, 0 0.5 means 50%, 0 0.7 means 70%. But, uh, yeah, it cuts down the size of the file. That way your file is not as big and it's easier to rig. And if you look closely, you'll notice that a lot of the details don't go away. So it helps clean up a file for easier uh, printing and easier uh, rigging. And by the way, I kind of messed up a little. I just realized that I did not uh, add enough detail to his mouth. I should have done that. Thankfully, it's not too late. So let me wait till this decimate is done and then I'm gonna go in here and just tighten up his mouth a little bit. So, sculpt mode. I don't need that. Add. I don't need the dentopu for this kind of thing because this is just tightening it up a little bit, that's all. Did you add a hole to the stand uh, for a stand? No, that comes later. That's when I'm in the post-processing phase. I don't add a hole anymore now. I do that later. This one's going to be on the ground anyway. True, but I am also going to make a flying version, or should I say I'm going to be updating the flying version. So I will need to put a hole in this guy too. There you go. That's a much sharper looking beak. Alrighty. Let me add a little more detail to the texture of his beak. And then we should be good to go. Looks like I'd need to do some Dentopu on this guy then for the beak. That's fine.
Okay, that's better. I make sure that this guy is still a reasonable size. <sighs> Let's see. File, export, STL. Yeah, 62 megs isn't too bad. Okay, cool. So I'm going to decimate just a little more. So I'll bring it down to 0 0.9 and then apply. File save. There we are. Rigged. All right. Now, let's make a skeleton for this guy. So that's going to be the fun part. Posing this guy, make him look like a living creature of some sort. Also, I got a new patron. Me! Joseph. Thanks, Joseph. Yeah, it is a little goofy. Alrighty, let's go ahead and make a scale team. Yeah, you weren't kidding. That does look goofy. That the the uh, brush that I use for um, scales is something that I made myself. Hey, boo. Hey, baby. How you doing? I'm good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lord of Feet says hi. Hi. Jen says hi from a distance. For those of you who don't know, Jen is my wife.
Now I know that this only has two bones inside his finger, but I'm going to subdivide this for the sake of being able to control uh, how it looks during the, you know, modification portion of this. And so it's more for the modeling portion or posing portion than for the actual need for the bones or need for the bones in the actual creature. And what I am also going to do is, because let's see, this is supposed to go down, then this is supposed to go up. There is a possibility I might need bone inside of the wing itself. And again, not because that existed, but more so I can control it myself. So when the time comes and this thing needs to fold its wings, it's good to have extra control in these areas where the folds are. You'll see. Alright. Let's go ahead and make some finger bounds. Hey. Hey. So I guess we won't be needing this guy then, huh? Nope. Oh well. We'll see that. Yeah. For those of you wondering, uh, Jen and I were making a cool new ventilation setup in my uh, office for resin printing. And it has been trial and error. It has. Jen, what's it like being the best wife ever? Ah, uh, it's dope. Yeah. You're so cool. Mm-hmm. What's it like being so cool? Mm. Yeah. 
What were you thinking about for lunch today? Good question. Um, I don't know. We'll see what we got. Yeah. I know we've got your leftover pizza. From you do have uh, the Mongolian beef. Yes, we do. So we got options. I'm going to post on Reddit later the uh, my gallery for what I made in June. So hopefully that'll be a nice reception. <laughs> do, do, do. Oh, uh, Interesting Smells asked a good question. <laughs> I just like that his username is Interesting Smells. That's great. <laughs> but anyway, his question is... Huh, so do you put those bones along the fold lines? Makes sense. I've had some issues in the past posting wings, posing wings, and I always get goofy geometry in that area. Yeah, that's what I do. It, it just helps control the, uh, the folds when the time comes. So, yeah. Okay, now let me do the same thing over here. <laughs> well, get some nice cologne. Oh, and take a bath, of course. which are going to be just as important because these legs are going to be posed.
All right, so that's the hips. And then they're gonna do the legs. I might have to actually extend these legs um, once this guy's rigged up. <laughs> so we got one bone, and then we got a long bone, and we got a feet. Okay. Alrighty. <clears throat> now let me just grab these claws. And then
Almost there. All right, got ourselves some bones, baby. Okay, so let's do a quick review. Let's make sure that we got enough bones. I think, honestly, I could use a little more bones inside this uh, neck. I think it's, well, it's bone time. It's bone time. Tell you what it definitely always is. Morbin time. Mm -hmm. Such a good movie. I mean I haven't seen it, but I heard it was really, really good. I think that's enough. I'm being a little, being a little silly right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and save, save, and then we are going to go ahead and. Um, yeah, I guess that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and save. And we're gonna connect this to a uh, body. Or, yeah, there you go. Alright, so, boom, boom. Saving one more time because I'm paranoid. And here we go. It's time to connect this thing. P Ciao! Okay. So. We now have to wait for this thing to connect this skeleton to this um, this creature. So this might take a minute. Control S. I don't know if Control S works the same way um, uh, in Blender for saving. Well, I guess while we're waiting, I can go ahead and check on some stuff offline. If you guys have any questions for me while I'm, uh, you know, waiting for this to process, now is the time to ask them.
Do you prefer sculpting people, humanoids, or creatures? Uh, yes. <laughs> I don't have a preference. I, I, I like making all things. Usually the stranger, the creature, the more fun I have. Um, but usually the stranger, the creature also means the longer it's going to take to get done. I mean, this creature is about as weird as it gets. And uh, even though the geometry was made already from about six years ago, it still took forever just to update it to make it look right, you know? So, yeah. So, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess while we're here, I can go ahead and work on the next request. So I'll go ahead and do that. And the next request is supposed to be a um, tabaxi that's all for no clothing. <laughs> so let's go ahead and work on that while this is connecting. Thankfully, I can open Blender more than once. So, first things first, to make a tabaxi, obviously we need a cat head, and to get a cat head, I need to go to literally the cat file. <laughs> so, let's open this up right here. Who is a kitty? Who oh, is a kitty? Anyway, now this creature is, I believe, rigged, maybe? I don't know. No, it doesn't look like it is. It is unfortunately sculpted already though, so that means that this might be a little harder for me to grab its head. But it also will save me some time on the, uh, when I get to the, um, you know, actual sculpting phase. So let's go ahead and grab this uh, creature's head. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, make a humanoid body. Okay, so P, selection. Yeah, it's a kitty. He's about to pounce. Alright, so let's open. Um, let me get a... Uh, I need a pose now. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Let's go to... Size markers, uh, other basics, rigged file, and let's get a female human. Uh, let's see here, body rigged, let's see, body rigged, I'm looking for a split female, oh brother, here we go, split female for rigging, perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and paste this head. All right, now we're going to go ahead and set origin to center mass. We're going to put that head up there for now. We'll come back to that later. All right, so let's see what we got here. Now, I've had some pretty unique experiences recently with fingers where the hands need to be a little bit longer for them to be properly uh, you know, ready for rigging. So I'm gonna do a slight modification right now to this model.
Now I know I need to do this again uh, when I go to the other hand because this is not mirrored skeletons, it's just mirrored geometry. But we'll get there. Okay, now I gotta do the same thing over here, because again, it's not mirrored skeletons, it's just mirrored geometry, right? be better. Alright, and save as. Let's go with uh, base bodies, and we're going to call this uh, Tabaxi Female uh, Base Model. Alrighty. That's cool. Just don't sell any of them because the mongrel folk is not uh, my intellectual property. So just keep that in mind, please. Alrighty. <coughs> okay. Alrighty, let's get rid of this head. Now the proportions of this uh, creature probably don't need to be changed, given it's a, you know, basically human with a... Uh, cool. Anyway, it's basically just a human that's covered in fur, right? With a tail. Uh, don't forget the tail. So, proportion-wise, I think this is fine. So we'll go ahead and cover this person in a lot of fur. Alrighty. Okay, so then I guess if that's that, then, then we'll go ahead and start working on the fur itself. Cool. Oh, I gotta make a tail, of course. Can't forget the tail. In fact, let me just make that geometry now while we're here. So, right there. Right there. I remember people asking me, why don't you just name them cat folk and stuff, and that way you can do it commercially. And it's like, look, I could do that, but any copyright, any competent copyright lawyer would see right through that and would still be able to sue me, so... I don't play those games. Anyway... I guess technically I don't need boobs because they're cats, but I don't know. Well, I'll keep the boobs, I guess. Alrighty, I think this lady's ready to go. Let me get rid of you. And let's go ahead and uh, save again. And then apply the mirror. Cats are still mammals. That's true. 
Hmm. Also, apparently snakes are mammals. I didn't know that. Found that out recently. Pretty crazy, right? Kidding. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and make a tail. Some generic tail geometry. Mm-hmm. That is true. Alright, that's a pretty damn long tail. Okay. Now let me go ahead and connect this head to this body. And then we will go from there. This will be fun. Hey, Boo. How you doing? The uh, woodpecker uh, was uh, doing his thing. Yeah. Adorable. Making a cat person. Nice. Yes, I included the boobs as a tradition. All six? All six of them, yes. Good. Mm -hmm -hmm. Probably should get some food soon. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! Let it cool for like five minutes before removing it. Otherwise, the, uh, the the thing will get warped. We just printed something for our house just now. Crazy, right? Using a 3D printer not for miniatures? Psh, crazy! So if anybody's wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm currently uh, removing the triangular uh, faces of this thing so that way I can select all the faces and then connect it to the model below of the uh, tabaxi's body. So 
takes a little bit of a process, but it works, and I always get there. Just making my way around the neck, little by little, bit by bit. Almost there. So close, so close. Yeah. Oh, there you go. It is solid, perfect. Now comes the fun part of making this look like it belongs here, which is gonna be a lot of sculpting, but we'll get there. Let's make sure it is centralized. Yeah, it looks like it. Make sure it's the right size. Yeah. Could be a little smaller, but there we go. And that should be it. Let's go ahead and start sculpting. But first, let me actually make the neck a little bit bigger because this neck is supposed to be very, very furry, right? So we're very, very furry, so might as well. Also, if there are any resident furries who are watching right now, you know, if you got any feedback, obviously, you know, share your feedback, you know. You guys are pros when it comes to this kind of thing. You got to respect, uh, got to give respect when respect is due. Meta furry, but I've heard that they're some of the nicest people. <clears throat> Actually, let me not connect this thing just yet. I need to add um, some geometry first.
Okay, that should be enough geometry to get started. Uh, a little more. Yeah, that should be enough. Alrighty. This should be enough, enough, uh, enough development. I think so. All right, let's go ahead and uh, apply. Now let's go ahead and connect this geometry to the this, this geometry. So object mode, join, and then mesh, edges, bridge edge loops. Ah, boo, so close. Obviously this is not the perfect geometry just yet. So let's see here, bounding center, Hmm. Try again. Mesh. Bridge. Nope. I'm still not. I may have to do this manually. Let's see here. Aha! So, as you can see, some of this is not ready yet. Hmm. Trying to figure out where though. Where is the mess up? It looks like it's perfectly aligned. I don't see where the problem here is. So clearly I'm just going to have to bring this down a little further. Lame. Maybe that should be close enough. Let's try this again. Hey, there we go. It was just too far away, that's all. So file, save as. Sculpted. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, add some geometry. And then we're going to sculpt and smooth this out first. And then we will get into the next phase, which is going to be actually making this look like a person. <laughs> Okay, 
That's a lot better. Let's go ahead and add some mass to this neck. And then it's time to add some fur. Okay. Fur time. Alright, six. Smooth shading. And fur time again. Yeah, I wonder if that Quetzalcoatl model is done. <laughs> I guess when this thing is being connected to the skeleton, I'll get back to the uh, get back to that original model. Huh? So, yeah, I still gotta eat something. Never thought today I'd be making a naked tabaxi, but it is a long-haired naked tabaxi, so it's not like I'm making an actual nude nude, because they're covered in fur. Did not expect that I'd be working on so many furry things today. <laughs> oh well.
Thank you. <coughs> Whew, not a bun. Sorry about that. I'm gonna blow my nose if I do it one more time. Alrighty, let's continue working on this lady, this fuzzy fuzzy lady. supposed to have a feline body um, you know you're supposed to have the legs that are supposed to be like you know with multiple uh, what do you call it joints or the joints are supposed to be reoriented yeah I messed up <clears throat> all right I can still just model that in yeah not a problem. So this will stay the way it is. And this will be the split up point right here. And I'll cut in here.
Whoops. Okay. Well, I have seen worse. So, I guess it could be just a worse. I know. These are supposed to be cat paws. So. Bring that in. And then. I make that into cat paws. So. And there you go. That's how you fix that problem. One, two, three, four, and five. <clears throat> I forget if cats have four or five. Cat paw. One, two, three, four. I need to turn on the uh, Tintoku so I'm gonna run out of uh, geometry to work with here. Alright, that's a lot better. <laughs> that almost could have been a disaster. That's passable. <laughs> Meow. Let's get back to it then. Okay, let's start from the bottom and work our way up.
Okay. Okay, we say.
So, is this coming along okay? So far. Did not expect that my entire stream would just be uh, a lot of fur. <laughs> but here we are. Here we are. Oh well. Once again, have you guys got any questions about anything? Now is your chance, because this is kind of mindless. Could be worse. Could be fractal scales. Ooh. Yeah, I guess so. I guess yeah, that would have been a lot worse. But I do appreciate your, you know, I do appreciate everybody's uh, company while I make these things. So it's kind of nice. So something really cute happened on my uh, my Patreon's Discord yesterday. So a patron asked if they could commission me to make their uh, wedding cake topper. And uh, I don't do commission work because I just don't have the time. Uh, however, I know that on my Discord there's a variety of patrons that, uh, you know, have some decent skill when it comes to 3D modeling, right? So, I went ahead and tagged the whole Discord about seeing if anybody was able to help this guy, and uh, it looks like there were a decent amount of takers, so fingers crossed that, that works out. Do you ever use booleans to merge parts? Uh, yeah, sure. I don't really do it on the, on Blender though, unless absolutely necessary. Usually I do it on Mesh Mixer. It's just easier in Mesh Mixer. But uh, yeah, sure, Booleans are cool. 
All right, it looks like some long fur. We add a little more variance here. Okay. That looks like one furry lady. Okay, what's next? Well, I guess we do need to have a little more here for the collarbone formation, right? And then a little more. And then, I oh, think that's a pretty fur fuzzy person. <laughs> um, alright, I guess I gotta get to the tail now, it's about that time, alright, it's tail time. Hey, boo. Uh, I decided it's too hot to eat something hot, so I'm making a sandwich. Do you want one? Um, sure. Yeah, I'll take one. Okay. Thanks. Hmm? It's tuna. Yeah, I like tuna. Okay. Thanks, baby. I appreciate it. Can I have it with cheese? Yes. Uh, oh, also, could you... Remove this thing? Yes, will do. You gotta bend from one end and then just... There you go. Okay. I guess you didn't really need to hear <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And then I guess if you could clear out the bed uh, and then start the next print, that would be appreciated. Does it fit? Yes. Yay! We're talking about... Uh, Thing we're adding to my office for ventilation so yeah so you gotta clear the bed and then you gotta press the button to start the next print oh I got a question here from Siberian Phoenix Siberian Phoenix asks I've decided to change my patreon tier as I simply do not enough benefit my young hand here receive too much I decided to upgrade to Adult Dragon to your Simply Deserved. Oh, wow. Thank you. That's really nice of you. I appreciate it. Thanks there, Siberian Phoenix. Uh, so which one? It'd be the first one down, which is should say something mid. Mid. Yeah, parts. that's it. So you okay. just press that, and there you go. And then sure you really ignore that. Just press it again. There you go. Thank you, baby. I'm not sure you needed my help. Sure I did. Anyway, but yeah, Siberian Phoenix, I appreciate it. That's very generous of you. The higher tiers are more just for people who want to, you know, just feel generous, I guess. You know? It's not necessary, so it's nice.
I used to do like random, like, you know, rewards for those tiers, but it just added too much work and it was starting to get overwhelming, so I had to end that. Now I just make it very, very clear to like, you know, it's just for mm -hmm. people who just feel very generous. Oy vey. So much fur. What's this? What's this? It's not about generosity to me. It's about supporting your consumer and the value provided. Oh. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. All right, that's enough fur on that tail. We got ourselves a female tabaxi, and she is very, very naked. Let me just fix these eyes, make it a little bit smaller. Bring him in a little bit. Maybe not too much, I don't need to bring him in, but I'll at least uh, move him in a smidge. Mm hmm. Oh, well, thanks. I really do appreciate that too. They're interesting smells. I do. Well, I try to. <laughs> Alrighty. Let me go ahead and make these ears a little pointy at the top. Since that's apparently what the tabacs here are like. Well, let me not do that. Never mind. The patron didn't specify on what kind of tabaxi, so I'm just gonna add little bits of detail. <laughs> it's all good. Thank you. It's still really nice of you.
All right, nice little smile on her. Okay. Actually, wait. Maybe I shouldn't do a smile because this might be a uh, unhappy. Nah, I'll leave it. It's fine. Plus, my default cats are always smiling anyway, right? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and legs as long as Florida. <laughs> I'm glad you still remember that line. Alrighty. So. What else? I guess that's that. It's time to go ahead and start the next phase, which is putting some. putting. connecting this person to a skeleton. So. I'll save. Alrighty. Now let's go ahead and see how big this is. Save as Tabaxi female base sculpted. Tabaxi female base sculpted. Eh, pretty big file. Alright, let's go ahead and save as. And then we're going to go to the rigged folder. And then Tabaxi female base rigged. Alright, let's turn on the armature again. We're gonna have to fix the skeleton now because obviously the bones need to be changed again. That doesn't look like I need to add anything. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. Fresh cut grass. That was um Sam Raimi's character. I stopped watching that show after a little bit. I just I just lost track. <laughs> it was fun. I just I don't know. Too many things going on, I guess. Is that still going on? Is that a uh, season three of a uh, critical role? Is that still? Is that still? Uh, is that still a thing? That's fair. It's a family event at my house. My house. enough bones in the neck but yeah they just did a large side game for the last month but uh, just resumed the normal campaign yesterday that's cool well, as long as everybody has fun that's all that matters all right that looks pretty good <clears throat> let's go ahead and save and then let's uh, connect this to this all right, here we go. And now we can go back to that Quetzalcoatl I was working on earlier. <laughs> Control P. Control P, automatic weights. All right. Let's go back now. I'm going back. Way back. And it's rigged. Yay. Yay. What's up, baby? Uh, do you want black pepper or do you want to try paprika? A paprika. Yes. Yeah. I guess I should take a lunch break, huh? Alright, let's just see if this came out okay. Yay! Great. Alright. Well, 
love oaks. I really should get some food. So let me go and take a break. But when we come back, it's going to be time to pose this creature and make it look like he is walking. Hopefully that's possible. <laughs> I think I did a good job with the skeleton. I think I should be able to do it. We'll see. All right. So let me go for a lunch break and I'll be right back. So file save and lunch break time. Lunch break. We'll be back in, I don't know, give me an hour. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe less, but we'll see. Let's see, I left at 13.08, current model. Uh, um, uh, flying uh, duck cow hybrid uh, nurse. Alrighty. Okay. We are back.
Okay, I am back. Let's go ahead and continue, shall we? So, where we last left off, this baby was rigged and ready to go. So now let me type in, um, hmm, standing, and then um, we go up. Quite so quietless. Oh, here it is. Actually, I already saved the file. Alright. Let's make this guy standing, shall we? <clears throat> Alright. So, maybe I should uh, get that other source image in here. There we go. So, <laughs> I guess the first thing we're going to do is we're going to position the shoulders, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Come on. No! Didn't mean to actually move it. That's terrifying. Alrighty. <coughs> so, position the shoulders down. Like so. Let's uh, position the entire body. Or, yeah, yeah, the entire body. Object mode. Alright. <coughs> it might actually help to maybe have a background image. Oh, we'll see. Let's do the easy part first, which is going to be the neck. So, let's do that part. So, that's the easy one. I guess I'll close his mouth too. Why not? Doesn't really hurt. Looks like I'll need to do some modifications to the mouth. Shame. Meh, it's not that big a deal. So what I need to do is just uh, modify this. I can do that in sculpt mode real quickly. Glad I was able to spot it. I could also just leave the mouth open. I don't know. It's not that big a deal. Yeah, I guess I could just leave it open. I was gonna like do a whole sculpting fixer upper thing, but like, does it really matter? So its mouth is open, whatever. Anyway. Yeah, it's 
probably fine. If it really bugs me later, maybe I'll uh, fix it, but for now, let me focus on these wings. Because that's the hard part. <sighs> Alright, so... First things first. Now comes the hard part. Alright, here we go. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, okay, I've seen worse. Not too bad, not too bad. Not great, but not bad either. It's kind of there, you know. Let's see. Okay, alright, alright, okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. Now I gotta just take care of the folds, make sure that these go up. But I think, in theory, Okay. There we go. All right, it can be done. <laughs> okay, so the next part's gonna be the legs. That's gonna be a pain in the butt, but one thing at a time, one thing at a time. I was really worried I was not going to be able to pull that off, but 
I unnecessarily doubted myself. Okay. <clears throat> Not too shabby. One second. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to take care of something off screen. So, next is the this back part. And this is the part that I am also not sure about. <laughs> shall see <clears throat> in theory this should work so far it's looking all right
Oh my god, he looks so dumb. It's great. <laughs> he looks so dumb. I love it. I'm not going to say that the a walking Quetzal Quetlas is my favorite dinosaur or prehistoric reptile, but he is definitely up there because he just looks so dorky. <laughs> I guess I do need a huge creature marker at this point, huh? So uh, it would require some extra work, but what do you guys think? Should I have the creature's mouth closed? Or do you think uh, it's fine with its mouth open? You can be honest.
All right. <clears throat> so now that we got that pose done, I guess the next thing would be to kind of make it look like it's walking now. Now that the base is done, right? Let's see how he looks so far. Oh my god, he looks so dumb. It's great. It's great. Okay, I gotta show. I need to show my wife. Hey, Jan. Come over and look at it. I hope you muted your mic while you yelled. Nah. Anyway. <laughs> no. Okay. Anyway, what do you think? I love him. Isn't he great? Yeah. Yeah. Now this is him just standing. I mean, I could add a little more, make it look like he's walking, but I don't know. It's even more work. What do you think? I don't know. Also, thoughts on his mouth being open or closed? Um, I would lean closed, but I don't know how much more work that would be. Eh, a little more work, but not by much. I would need to basically make the this beak, you know bent so that way it fits inside the mouth but that's no, it's not it's not hard okay. all right then so thank you <clears throat> but yeah he's cute yeah yeah mm. all right Alright, I should do it. Mm, not quite. Still needs to be brought in a little bit more. It's fine. Getting there. I'll bring down the top B just a little bit. <laughs> Still got a bit of a smirk going on. Thankfully, there's a way to fix that. Because there's a way to fix everything. It's just literally using the pinch tool.
Meh. Fine. So close. Alright baby, let's do this. Come on baby. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, that's... Alright, that is one closed mouth. <laughs> nice, alright, let's just fix the thing real quickly. Close mouth, Quetzalcoatlus. 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 I don't know. Can never pronounce it right. <laughs> Let's see how this guy looks now, shall we? Alright, first things first, we gotta make sure this lighting is okay. Technically, I don't need this stuff down here, so I'll get rid of that. Thank you, appreciate it.
Huh. We appear to have a distance issue going on here. There's a cutoff going on here, and I can't explain it. Ah, it was the beak. The beak was the culprit that was causing that unnecessary shadow. Okay, not a problem. Just move this guy over here. And then the beak itself. I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get to it. Never realized how much of a problem a goddamn beak would be, but there it is. <laughs> You know what? Good enough.
I still think it's pretty crazy that these things could walk around like giraffes. But there they are. There it is. Now obviously, I think people are gonna only print this thing without the uh, marker, so... I'm including the STL, but I'm not going to actually have it as a part of the thing. That was fun. All right. There it is. Now let's go ahead and uh, make a flying version. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, let's go ahead and get this guy ready. Not too much needs to be really changed. You know, just gonna bring these wings up a little bit and let's go from there. Give the neck a little bit of curvature. <clears throat> I guess I'll straighten his legs. No need for any pterodactyl silliness in this big boy. I do love it once a model has been properly rigged. You can just do just about anything to it.
That looks pretty damn good. I'll increase the positioning of the wings just a little more. Just a little. Nothing crazy. I still want it to look like it's gliding, you know? There we go. Very nice, very nice. Okay, not too bad. A little bit of adjustments needed in the lower light, but I have seen worse, so pretty good. And then... Let's try that again. There you go. All right. Still needs more diffuse light over here yonder. <laughs> Didn't realize I made the lighting so bright up here.
I'm only doing this for the rendering purposes. Just playing around with the pose, because sometimes you get good results by doing that. <sighs> Alright, that does actually look kind of cool. Now I just gotta lower this thing. Bring it down to 15. Alright, bring it down to 10. Alright, good enough. Alrighty, we are done with that. Oh, it looks like this one's uh, ready to go as well. Nice. One thing at a time. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and make this uh, Quetzal Quatlas ready for printing. So, first things first, let's get rid of uh, some of these unnecessary files now. And first, let's load up Mr. Quetzal quietly standing. Let's see how he looks in ultra detail in FDM. See if I gotta thicken anything. I don't think I need to thicken anything, but we'll see. Where's his head? <laughs> hmm. Looks like um. It looks like his wings in this area needs to be thickened a little bit. So, let's go ahead and reload this guy then. Clearly the, um, the, uh, the STL itself needs to be run through some processing because, uh, it's having a little bit of an error situation, which is fine. I can fix that real quickly. Inflate. And let me just inflate that. that's done, we're going to have to run this STL through some post-processing because clearly it's got errors. So let's go do that. Yeah, it's got some errors. Give it a second.
Hey, I got some new patrons. Leo Hard and Preston. Thanks. Almost done. this guy reload from disk and now let's see what he looks like <laughs> why is his head not show up this is so weird <laughs> what's going on here um yeah I don't know I mean well the wings are fine right <laughs> Wings are great. <laughs> I think I need to just close this and reopen it, but all right, let me go to um, this fella. Uh, file, import, config, all right, and Okay, well, there's the head, so thank you. <laughs> now, this isn't exactly how I was going to do this, uh, but I am very worried about this thing not showing up in FDM. So I'm going to just close Prusa Slicer, right? No. And I'm going to reopen it. Because <laughs> sometimes you got to turn things off and then turn them on again. That's the best way to fix problems. <clears throat> it is still one of the best slicers out there, so. Anyway. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and choose the i3 MK3. And then we're bringing you in again. Oh, look at the little thing. Looks like a looks like a little Prusa. It's so cute. There we go. Whew! <laughs> I was really worried. I was like, uh, where is the head? What's going on? But it's fine. It's fine. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and yeah. Okay. So. Okay, file, import, config. Prusa, look at the pain. Alright, now let's actually get this guy ready for resin printing. So, I'm gonna say that I think that this guy actually would print okay on his back slightly, you know? Like with, so that way there's no need for having any supports on the, on his little toes, you know? So, that should be good. Let me see if I can get some sort of a flat dimension. That's pretty good right there. Eh, even better. Alright, let's add some supports. Start with auto-generation, because auto-generation's pretty good. Most of the time it's pretty good. Sometimes it still messes up. Let's uh, do some manual editing. All right, we don't really need supports on these toes. See what I mean? It's like, it's not perfect, but it does like 90% of the work. Anyway, now key areas like this, I would actually add a little more. Oh, looks like I didn't put any fur behind his legs, but yeah, whatever, it's fine. Okay. And then I would definitely put a little more behind his back and behind his neck. 
So, like I said, 90% of the work. That should be pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I think so. All right, export STL, including supports. Quits quietly standing. Pre-supported. All right. Now, for the big guy, um, for the flying version, he needs to have a, uh, you know, a uh, standing marker for his uh, flying version, right? So let's go to the size marker. I'm just going to grab huge creature flying marker. Go back. Paste that in there. And then we need to put a hole inside the dude, right? So... Let's go ahead and do that. So, open up Mesh Fixer. Mesh Fixer is a free uh, program for, um, you know, altering files and such. So, Quetzalcoatlus and then Huge Creature Flying Marker. Come on, it's not that big a file. Oh, wait a minute. Mm, I forgot to run it through uh, Windows Builder. That's probably the reason why I was having a hard time. There you go. You, you fix this boy. You fix this fella. Also, I gotta make sure. <laughs> Here I go again, wasting my time. <sighs> I gotta make sure it actually looks okay in FDM. For all I know, I need to thicken his wings as well. Let's see. Uh, actually, no, his wings look good. I guess it was just it being folded that uh, gave it issues, but no, he looks uh, he looks all right. That's good. Yeah, it is good. Okay. FDM wise, I would just print him like that. Anyway. Ah, oh, boo! I was kind of hoping he would uh would have fit, but eh, it's a bit of a stretch. Hmm, you know what? This guy might not actually be uh might not be compatible with uh, regular size resin printers. Hmm. I mean, I guess this is fine, but it's not fun. Nope. Yeah, I guess, I mean, I've seen worse things printed, so, yeah, it's probably fine. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, make, a, make a little stand hole for this guy. So, <sighs> first things first. This thing is done, file save. Okay. Go ahead and import this dude again. Place. There we go. Alrighty. So, T is a big bird. Well, he's not a um, he's actually not a bird, he's a flying uh, reptile known as a pterosaur. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, I know. Alright, let's see what we got here. A little higher up. Okay. Now we'll just move forward a little bit. Check again. A little higher up again. Mm 
That looks pretty good. Alrighty. So select this guy, select this guy, Boolean difference. Turn off that. Oh my god, that took forever. You know what? That looks really great. <laughs> Just gonna leave it as this. <laughs> yep, that looks pretty legit. Alright. Oh, great. <laughs> and of course, it's not centralized, and that's gonna bug me. Of course, it's always something, right? Now I gotta go back. It's always a little details, you know? Yep. Always the little details. Any day now. Alright, at this point it probably would be easier to just freaking close it and then try it again. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Next time, be a little more careful. Sorry about that, folks. Here I am just wasting my time and your time with that mess.
That looks awesome. Oh, God. Boy, was I wrong. Yep. Why is this taking so long? God, this is supposed to be a really high-end computer, man. Yep. Murphy's Law. <sighs> Still gotta work on that other guy, too, that I was working on earlier today. Holy smokes. You know what? I think I need a drink. <laughs> Let me summon one. Alright, turn that off and wait forever. Hey, Boo. Hello. Thank you so much. You're welcome, man. Alright, that's it. Cracking open a drink, because this is taking forever. Oh, actually, Lord of Feet, I'm skipping uh, odd numbers. It'll save you a lot of time, so there you go. <laughs> you bully. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. I am not that mean. Hmm. All right. Enjoying a nice, cool, refreshing drink. Now I gotta turn that on. Yeah, yeah, but holy crap, man! Let's go. <laughs> it's not even that complicated of a file. Oh, Jesus Christ! All right, I've given up. <clears throat> Hello. Hello there. I gotta do this the old fashioned way, so be it, man. It's taking too goddamn long. <sighs> <clears throat> I 
I wanted to again do this the fancy way. I wanted to do it the nice, cool, technical way, but good God. Oh, now you do it. Oh! As soon as I threaten to do it my own way, then it's like, no, wait, wait, no, wait, it's okay. <laughs> Dick. Anyway. Jeez, please, man. <laughs> Pretty much. Thank you. Jeez Louise, man. Alright. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and bring the sucker in. Probably should just rename it Flying. Probably should. Let me just fix this. There's a hole now there, right? Yes, there is. Good. Good, good, good. Jolly good. I gotta say, this is a pretty damn cool model. I, I really do like how it turned out. Mm. Yeah. It is. It is holy. It's like a saint. Finally. Okay. Now let's make a pre supported version. <laughs> All right. So we'll go ahead and see if there's any way to. No, that's kind of it. Alright, reload from disk. <laughs> Why are you all the way up there? Really? Hi! Why are you all the way over there? There you go. That was weird. Alright. Need to make sure that the hole is um, facing somewhat skyward. That way it drains outward. So there you go. That's pretty good. And then. Okay. Auto generate. Clearly the file was heavier than it looked. Yeah. Clearly. What was this? Oh. There we go. Although, support there isn't really needed to begin with, so. Well, that's why we're here. To, ex to just, you know, move, move things around. Now, support is definitely needed down here. So much so that you'd need like at least three or four. That's where everything begins. Yeah, this should definitely cover more of the wing. Let's see. The foot looks pretty good, but I would still put some more down here. Only because too much of this is uh, dependent on... Too much of the model is dependent on this. Let's see. Definitely would put some more down here, too. Here, what else? 
Body looks good. Hey, baby. Hello. You're the best. Yeah. Yeah. You're the best. Alright, there we go. What you doing, baby? Uh, I am doing silicone. Oh, cool. Good luck. Thank you. Well, folks, I am happy to report that the Quetzalcoatlus model is done. And I gotta say, he looks pretty damn great. I'm really happy with how he turned out. Let me go ahead and load this up onto my Google Drive and let the patron know that your request is done. So for those of you who are not patrons of mine, I do have, I do share with my patrons, uh, you know, my, um, all of my models, pre-supported or otherwise, um, with, uh, you know, to my patrons in one convenient place. It's pretty nice. Hmm. Can't seem to find my Quetzalcoatlus model. Eh, whatever. It's fine. I'll find it later. Anyway, let's go ahead and upload this fella. So let's go to. Oh, guess it's about that time, eh? So new folder, create folder, <coughs> and this is uh, one new models, July twenty twenty two. All right. Okay. Anyway. And a new Quetzalcoatlus. Pachow! Now let me go ahead and update the file in Volo's Guide to Monsters. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. And then I'll just get rid of the old folder. And in you go. Alright. Then I'll do the same thing over here. So, goodbye, May. And then new folder. New models, July 2022. <coughs> so stinky. And then in you go. And then, in Volo's Guide to Monsters, Dinosaurs, and I'm just going to get rid of the old folder, and in you go, bam! Okay, so, let me go ahead and message the patron, let him know that it's in the drive, and then we're going to go from there. Patron Aaron. Or as they pronounce it in other parts of our world, a a ron a a ron <laughs> Yes. Hello. I just up just completed your request for a quetz jesus <laughs> quetzal coat less i don't know how to spell that <laughs> let's see here ah oh, there it is Standing full files are in 
The Volos Guide to Monsters folder under D Dinosaurs. I'll post everything later today on the Patreon too. And send. Aaron. Alrighty, Aaron, you have now a completed request. Alright, so the next request was this uh, tabaxi. Um, but let me just make sure I didn't miss anybody else. So, Brandon is no longer a supporter of mine. Chihuahua Jedi. Let's see. Also, no longer a supporter. And this guy asked for a critical role thing, so that was going to happen anyway. Here it is. I think this is the guy. Richard Tabaxi Druid. Yes. So he says, uh, I'd like you to model my wife's character, a female Tabaxi Druid. Who is not a huge fan of clothing, but is also a long-haired tabaxi, long-haired domestic, wielding a staff of the woodlands and a shield. Okay, so first let's see what a staff of the woodlands looks like. So staff, staff of the woodlands 5e. Please just be a big stick. <laughs> let's see. Yeah. Okay, not that bad. It's basically a stick. <sighs> All right, staff of the woodlands. Let's make that happen. So we we'll go to um, adventurers, druids, other druids, and then I'll just save that in there. Staff of the woodlands. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, there's no way to print the top of that staff without it being a problem, so whatever. We'll get to it when we get to it. For now, let me just make a staff. Anyway, bang. All right, so let's make sure Mr. Naked Tabaxi is ready to go. Let's see here. Give me, give me that skeleton. Pose. Okay, that's good. Let's uh, look at this head real quickly. Let me just uh, angle it up. Okay, angle it down. I've seen worse. It needs to uh, be completely controlled by that bone. So let me do some weight painting real quickly. Weight painting. Then add all right oh it needs to be um stroke where is it curve weight tools options expert there you are all right
Okay. All right, it's a little better. Cool. Okay, that's one naked tabaxi. And save. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, get a shield in here. Well, first, save as. Uh, let's go to adventurers. Naked, yes. Druids, other druids, and then Tabaxi female, all natural druid. <laughs> all right, so let's get a wooden shield in here real quick. STL. Um, all righty. Weapons and then a shield, wooden shield, wooden shield, wooden shield round. Alright. Add a subdivision surface to set origin towards center mass. Alright, so let's give her a shield. First thing we do, give her a nice shield, bring it down a little bit. Put it like right there. And then um, let's get a staff in here. Let's create cylinder. Alrighty, now let's go ahead and make this thing look like a staff of the woodlands. So we're going to go ahead and add a lot of subdivisions to get this ball rolling. Alright, then we're going to go ahead and go sculpt mode, then topu, turn that off. And first, let's make this thing look wooden so I guess I guess I'll turn on the X mirror anyway 
bring that in, bring that in, and then, meh. oh no, <laughs> I see the problem, file, export, STL, selection only, I don't know, weapons and tools, wood, staff of the woodlands, selection only, delete, file, import, STL, Staff of the Woodlands, where are you? Alright. Anyway, sculpt mode. Dintopu, turn on. Let's try it again. Thank you. Are you... Oh, you're not wrapping around all over. What have I did that? No? Oh, bummer. Fine. Whatever. Boom 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 boom. Making look like wood. Wood, 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 wood. Wood, 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 Looking like wood. La, 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 wood. Wood, wood, wood. Looking like wood. Da, 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 Looking like wood. Deep poetry, exactly. Wood, 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 <clears throat> Everything okay? Uh, did you hear uh, Belle? No, I did not. What's she up? She just took a deep breath and let out the most like... <laughs> I was like, whoa! <laughs> like, what the oh. hell is that? <laughs> like, Wow. I have silicone on my hands. I can't pet you. Um, that is one weird cat, man. She is. Hopefully I didn't trip any silicone into there, but... I hope so too, baby. Alrighty. Now for some branches and stuff.
Thanks. I try. So far, so good. Wow. Save. Go, Jen. All right, let me get some bushes in here. So, open. Uh, I did save, right? I don't know. Save it again. Open. Let's go to monster manual. Let's go to miscellaneous creatures. Awaken tree. Awaken tree. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Eh, that's not gonna work. I got another idea. Tree ant. God damn it. Also, you. She's a kitty. She is. Yeah, I try.
There we go. That looks like a staff of the woodlands now. <laughs> All right. Now, now that that's done, let's go ahead and uh, pose this kitty. Oh no, I forgot to rig the damn tail of this thing. That's going to be a problem. That is too bad. You know what? Maybe this won't be that bad. <laughs> Next time I gotta remember to take care of that though, that's uh that's a big problem. So I got lucky. This time it's fine, but next time I'll need to re-rig uh, that model.
Got a little bit of warping going on with the arms. I'll take care of that right now. Okay. And this is why I have hands pre-made. <laughs> oh well. Alright, that's enough of that. 
now I'll work on the other arm. Use a kitty. Meow, 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 meow. Alright, not too shabby, not too shabby. Not too bad. I need more lighting down here though. Let's go ahead and bring that down just a little bit. Bring that in. Bring that in. Thank you. I try. Okay. 
Let's see how big this is right now. So, other druids and this tabaxi. Tabaxi female all natural druid. Alright, let's see how big this is. Alright, that's a little better. Alright. I think this will be it. Hmm. There we go. Very, very nice. Okay. Do you guys think that this would be considered not safe for work, or do you think that this is okay? True, true. It is all covered in fur after all, so it seems only fair. Then maybe when I post my first uh, post of the month, I'll just, uh, you know, not post this and just let the patron know where it is and leave it at that. Yeah, so, alright, I guess that's that then. Well, at least you guys know what it is. <laughs> anyway. I could also, like, literally make a fucking a crop top and, like, a little skirt and call it a day. <laughs> hmm. You know what? Let me get my, my last uh, opinion. Hey, Jen? Yeah? Could you come over here? So, do you think that she is considered not safe for work? Um, her hair needs to be shaggier. Uh, I can't do that though. Cause yes, you can. 
shaggier? Uh, I will get our long-haired cat for you. Oh. So you're saying, like... Yeah. Like, okay, I see what you mean. <laughs> she's just, she's all fluff. So basically, get rid of the female form and just make her fluff? I just, um, she's basically, she's got, she's got little pantaloons. Like, that's not her skin. That's fur. It's like inches of fur. So mm. just, I don't know. Because the other option would have been to just make a crop top. No, I, I think just... Making it all long chest hair, um, but that would be figure mm -hmm. disguising mm -hmm. enough. Um, nah. <coughs> um, know what to google that isn't gonna get porn <laughs> and it's fine uh, yeah th there's no way to, to do a search gen that does not lead to porn i'm sorry that's porn uh, some of it yeah that's that's all porn that's really that's very that's porn yep and none of them have done long hair cats yeah, it's just not a thing. Jesus, that's porn. All right. Anyway, I don't think this is gonna happen, baby. I'll just do what you recommend and call it a day. Uh, this is a good. It's wearing clothes. I know. <laughs> okay, so that's not a terrible example of what I'm thinking for, uh -huh. like. That's basically titties out, but yeah, it's not. Yeah. So, but like that, where it's literally yeah, so just. Yeah, I make just such an impressive. If I make such an impressive her. mane, then uh, yeah, it would not lead to boobage necessary. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty, so this is not all done yet. Sorry, did I just. All right. So, time to do some modifications. All right, let's go ahead and start sculpting. Mm, no. Anyway, do 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 do. Sculpt mode. Alrighty. Thankfully, I have more than enough geometry to be able to pull this off pretty easily. Unfortunately, the uh. Uh, X mirror function is no longer going to work. That's fine.
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a better way of doing this. There's a much better way of doing this. All I have to do is create a new piece of geometry that covers the area that I'm trying to do and then sculpt the hair onto that. Aha! So, save as long haired and then create file import STL Haha, I am smart. Siberian Phoenix? Uh, normally I would say yes. However, because I am a very difficult person, uh, sheerly for the sake of evil, uh, I'm going to say no. Just to make life hard. Because that's what I do. I'm just a little guy. this. Look at this. How did that happen? Weird. Look at that. How did that happen? Weird, right? Anyway. It's fine.
Mm-hmm. Yep.
Hey, Jan. Yes, Mama. What do you think about this? Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. Cool. All right. Thanks, Boo. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. I am going to add a little more mass to the side over here, though. Um, what are ears look like? What are what? I just wanted to double check your ears. Um, there. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to add some more sure mass. Say what? I just wanted to make sure the ears had the fluff. Yeah. I think that's a lot better. There you go. That's it. That's the stuff. Very silly, but you know what? That's what they asked for, and that's what they're gonna get. <laughs> All righty. Doom, 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 doom. Alrighty. <laughs> Silly. 
All right, folks. Well, I think that is going to be it for me. I still have to upload everything and pre-support the stuff, but, you know, I think that's stuff that's not really necessary to be uh, live-streamed, so I'm going to call it right here. But, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in for this first live stream of uh, the new month. Uh, I'll be doing this uh, uh, every couple of days or so. I don't know. There's no schedule, so it's whenever I feel like streaming, I will. But if you'd like to support me as an artist, as I keep making art for free people, uh, no, I won't. Anyway, um, but yeah, you guys, uh, I'll see you around. Thanks for uh, tuning in to my live stream. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys around. Here's my Patreon if you want to support me as an artist. And uh, no, I won't. Anyway, I'll see you later. <laughs> Take care and uh, you guys be good.